Rumor has it they're uh, pretty soft there, Brian. Yeah, uh, NHL legend Keith Tuchuk, father of Matthew Tuchuk, was on the radio earlier today, dropping bombs against Florida, calling the team soft and that they got every single thing that they deserved in this recent four-game losing streak. Uh, Pittsburgh had a loss yesterday and left a little bit of breathing room for Florida to make up some space. So should we, we should be seeing a hungry and chastised Florida side tonight. Now, whenever somebody does some trash talk, I'm always a little bit leery because I've seen too many movies where that little bit of trash talk sends up the fire that they need to really turn it on. But you, I'm assuming you don't see that happening at all tonight when uh, the Panthers are in town, do you? Well, the Leafs uh, offense and defense are clicking right now, and the Panthers really have one thing going for them, and that's their team defense. So everything's going to have to work out for the Panthers to really get back on the right side of things. Seeing dads go after a team like this is pretty rare, you know. Uh, whenever Mitch Marner's dad or any other prominent father in hockey like Eric Lindros' father has said something, it's usually met with a lot of scorn. So uh, seeing something like this and people are just kind of nodding their heads agreeing is, is pretty interesting stuff for sure. Now, I do know that Samsonov is back tonight. Do you think that's going to have a profound impact on the way the Leafs play? I also know he just had a baby boy, Miroslav is his name apparently, so often we see Leafs get the big new dad bump. Zach Hyman famously had an amazing game on his first game back, I think he scored two goals. So maybe we'll see Samsonov uh, pitch some real good goaltending tonight, that would be a nice bonus. So are there any things that are happening in tonight's game that you're really anticipating? Well, I think one thing to watch for is Noah Chari. Uh, he did not take place in uh, practice yesterday. They had a U of T kit skating in his place, which suggests that they do think he'll be available. Wayne Simmons also practiced yesterday, so they went with the 6 and uh, 12 at practice yesterday. Is that going to happen? Sometimes Wayne's just a little placeholder there, so that'll be another topic to see. Is Logan going to get another chance in this lineup? Uh, you know, it seems like he's burned a few bullets of his chances here. We'll have to see what happens. So, 6 and 12 or 11 and 7. So, are you a big Wayne guy? I love the Wayne train. Scarborough boy, I live in Scarborough. Gotta love Wayne Simmons. Brings a little bit of bite. Definitely lost a step. And then a fourth line roll with a minute like this. I think we're going to see a lot of them in these last nine games. And I think it's a good decision. Keep him involved. The boys in the room love him. He brings 